this is a super exciting day for me because I'm going to build my new computer. I've been researching of course, I'm watching YouTube and I think I'm going to uh, manage to pair up an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with an older model of an um, motherboard, the uh, Asus Prime A320MA uh, according to Asus homepage this is going to fire right up if the motherboard BIOS is newer than 4801 and according to the store that sold it to me that's the case so I hope this is going to fire right up and with this motherboard you might suspect that uh, budget is the lead word in this build and of course it is so I got a used graphics card GeForce GTX 760 that I bought from a friend for $40 uh, I got a super fast um, hard drive uh, M.2 500 gigabytes and I got 16 gigabytes of RAM 2666 megahertz and for all this I paid $650 in Sweden and if you were going to buy this in the States if you buy this from a friend for 40 bucks you were going to pay about $570 so as always it's much more cheap to live somewhere else than Sweden but okay uh, anyway, I got the parts, but you know, I haven't done anything to computers since Windows 98. So um, I'm going to have to call my friend, which I bought this from. And if he can't come, then this is going to be a very long day and a very long video. But anyway, I'm going to give him a call. Okay, so my friend arrived. He wanted to help me. This is Robin from work. Hello guys. Can you tell me what are we going to do today? We're going to build a computer. With these components, we're going to put them all together and stuff them in that box. Yeah, and are we going to have to use this? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, okay. We're going to use a lot of this. Yes. And what is this? We're going to ground ourselves. So we don't damage any components oh, okay. while we do our work. Static, static yeah. is electricity there. And this, we need this as well. Yeah, nicotin. Yes. What are we going to start with? We're this box here, or what? This one? I'm thinking we're going to start with the motherboard. The and motherboard? The CPU. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then we see how we can fit the cables together. There. Fit the cables? Yes. So. Let's get going. We're going to clear the table, do the motherboard thing, and the, with the CPU over there. <laughs> sure. So, you were looking for something here. Yes. What, what, what are you looking for now? Here is the processor with the fan. Yeah, I'm looking for all the screw holes where we're going to put all our screws. Okay. Um, so we don't put the brace um, cooler on top of that and make it hard for us later on. And what do you think? It seems pretty good. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to remove the stock 120 millimeter fan here from Fantech and put in two 140 millimeters and tech fans. So that's what I'm going to do. What are you doing there? I'm taking apart this side here. Yes, you are. Um, so we get easier access. Easier access to <coughs> put, in, put in the motherboard. Yes. Okay. Motherboard and cables. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay, so <coughs> motherboard and uh, chassis, uh, CPU, extra fans for the, for, the, for the air. Is here. Yeah, the CPU is there. The yeah. cooler. Ah. The coolers. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Now we're going to put in the fans into the chassis so yeah. that's prepared and ready to go. I think we're going something like this. Sweet. 
Okay. I can do yes. that. I think I can do that. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, we're going to put the CPU into the motherboard and fix the cooler here and put the RAM RAMs in. And then we're going to attach the motherboard to the chassis. Okay. Sounds easy. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. That's it. True. <laughs> and now, um, now it's important to put the. You see that little tiny thing? Yeah. Show it to the camera. It's the a, little thing here. Yeah. It's a little arrowhead. Okay. We're going to zoom that with the 4K. Yeah. And we want to have that there. You see that little arrowhead there. You see that? And then we know. We just lie it down there. Push it very. No! So no pressure downwards. And then we we'll lock it in. And the CPU is installed. Okay. Now the yeah. So is there a cooling paste or is this um, plastic? And you are absolutely certain of that? Yeah, I am. He is. Shooting. Okay, Robin. Yes. So I ground myself here. Yeah. And you told me that um, when we use two ROMs, we are going with the black slots over here. No, the gray ones. The gray ones? Yes. Over here. So. Uh, Give me one. I only got one hand to do this. You push those outward. Right? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the rams go in here. Um, now, one part of it is smaller than the other. Like this. Yep. And they go into the gray sockets. Straight down? Yep. Oh no. Yeah, we're shooting. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we installed the, the the RAM, the CPU, the fan, and now we are going with the chassis. How do you want this? Like so? Or yeah. Something? Lie it down. Now I'm gonna put in the SSD uh, hard drive. 1970. Evo Plus. And this is uh, going in, in this socket right here. Ultra fast speed. Hard. Gaming stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so okay. So, what well, well, what's this now? This is the M2 um, hard drive. Yeah. Yeah. Now I need the the little screw and the distance. Yeah. Maybe we should have started with that. Maybe. 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 You learn as you go, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. You meant you meant to do it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Okay. Now I know it's the third here. <laughs> and what, what was that like? Ten newton meters? So is that yeah, it's finger a, tight? Uh, yeah, it's about like that. <laughs> Beautiful. And now, next, next thing. Next thing. Now we're gonna put the motherboard into the chassis. Install the VS550 power supply. Power supply. Yeah. Yeah. And then that goes. So our motherboard gets some voltage. Yeah, that's all. So what? So you're sure. Okay, Robin, we are going out to dinner now, so you can uh, just do the the cable, the wiring now, and we come back and it's finished, okay? Yep, I fixed that. Nice. No problem. See you later. See Bye. Ya. Unboxing the Microsoft Wireless 900 desktop keyboard. USB thingy, batteries, more batteries. Robin says it, it's go time here. I I'm, think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm pushing the button over here. It did not explode. This is good. <laughs> We're going to try again. Yes. Robin switch the power button connection okay. cable or something. Yes. Okay. Try to. You can see it's glowing a little bit with some blend light. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, it glows here on the back, bright yellow. You have some red here. Red here, fans on. Okay, so are the fans mounted the right, right way? Are they blowing or sucking? They're sucking. They're sucking. That's good. Yes. Okay, so that's right. Okay. 
Do we have something on the screen? Nothing. Pow. Kanske behöver grafikkort. Nej. Har den här processorn inbyggt? Modekort. Inbyggt. No. Okay, we installed the, the graphics card and we're going to try again. Test 4, I believe. Nothing. Still behind. Ah, pressing the screen. Grafikkort. Fläkten låter mycket då. Ja, no signal detected. Det är inte graf i den här. Nu går nu. Asus! Asus! Now we're going into BIOS. We're going banana nuts. Yes. Hur jävlar! Works like a charm. Every time. We got this thing yeah. started on the fourth attempt. We had to put the graphics card in. Yes. And now we are in the BIOS. Yeah. And what uh, are we doing now? Now I'm checking that the system is um, connected properly. So I can see it's um, our RAMs here. And which is slot. the RAMs good? Uh, yeah, it seems okay. Okay. And we have our processor there. Super fast? Yes, 3600 megahertz. It works fine. Yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah. That's really nice. Now we yeah. want to install Windows 10. Windows? We could update. Or. No, you need a hard drive. Ah, I need a the, hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> SATA information, M2 is, uh, doesn't connect properly. Oh, but the mouse works. Yeah. Yeah, the, the mouse works, but no hard drive. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is right yeah. up in here. Here. Boot priority, choose one and drag. So, this is going to be a little bit of unboxing video also of the Windows 10 Home Edition. Swedish retail price, 110 bucks something on USB. You want performance or energy saving? Performance, of course. Performance. This is pretty new files. Welcome to Windows 10. Key. What's this? Is this a USB stick? Yeah. Put the USB in the computer. Navigate to the USB. Double click setup XE. EXE. Follow the instructions. And since we get, uh, we have connection with the CPU, we don't need to update BIOS. Sensitive.